Legend. Impact is deadly. I'm Aaron Pedersen. This is Alice Sky. This is Dan Sultan. I'm Deb Malman. Now I'm Emily Woodamara. And you're listening to Jam Packed. Hey, hey, what's crack-a-lack and your mob? It's Johnsy here. And no matter where you're tuning in from right now, from Cape York to Kuramundra, from Wilcania to Ware and everywhere in between, I want to give a big shout-out to all your mob and hope you and your families are staying safe and keeping busy. As for me, well, let me tell you, I've been real busy these last few weeks. Yep, real busy doing nothing at all. You see, your old Uncle Johnsy, he tested that positive for COVID a few weeks back, and that laid me pretty flat for a little while. I'd already had all my vaccinations, so I kind of knew that I'd pull through okay, but just when I thought I was getting better, well, I tell you, I went and I got the flu. Wifey kept telling me it was just a man flu, but if that was man flu, then the man himself must have been something like the Incredible Hulk, that big green fella. It knocked me around like a ragdoll in a washing machine. True God, I was that crook, I started wondering if my time might be up. So, having spent the best part of the last month just sitting by myself in my shed, feeling no good, I had a lot of time to think. And you know, whenever I'm feeling not so good, I start thinking about all the people in my life and how grateful I am to have them looking out for me. And I started thinking about all the people who've shaped my life over the years. The uncles, the aunties, the cousins, people who've been a sounding board for me or shown me a better way whenever I've needed the help or guidance. People who I look up to and I learn from and people who I consider to be role models. Many of those people would know who they are. I don't need to name names, but this week I want to dedicate the show to all of those incredible people, not just in my life, but in all our lives. People who've had a positive impact on those around them just by being who they are. This is a show about the importance of good role models. This is Jam Packed. You're on Jam Pack with John Z, and what a way to kick off this week's show, eh? That's my Yolongo brothers, King Stingray, with their blistering track, Milkumana. In Yolongo Mata language, Milkumana means to share or pass on knowledge through stories and song. The band reckon Milkumana is about leadership and malawangany, that we're all one living under the same sun, sailing in the same boat towards a brighter future. They say it's about the importance of role models and setting good examples for the next generation. Positive role models are critical for all of us at any stage in our lives, eh? But especially when we're kids. As kids, we base a lot of our behaviours and our choices on the people around us and the things they do. So who better to ask about role models than some kids themselves? A little while ago, I ventured into my old stomping ground of Centralian Senior College in Mbandua, Alice Springs, and I had the chance to sit down with some Year 12 kids to get their thoughts on a whole range of things, and I was keen to find out who their role models were. One of my uncles who live in Melbourne, and he's got a PhD in Aboriginal Health, and he's always sort of educated us on on how to be healthy. My carer, because she'd been there for, for me ever since I was like four years old. She has to like look after other kids too, but she has time for all of us. Probably be my dad. Yeah, probably my dad as well because um, he's a health back officer, so he helps people quit smoking and all that. Mine would have to be my mum, uh, my pop or my nan. Yeah, they're really good with alcohol and all that. Many people I speak to talk about their role models being their mum or their dad or their grandparents, even their aunties and uncles. But many people don't even realise when they're being a role model themselves. But one of the things I've realised in my life is that you're being watched all the time. And the young ones around you, they'll always be looking up to you as a role model, even when you least expect it. So I asked the Centralian Senior College kids if they ever thought of themselves as role models. Since year seven, I've been doing Spanish. And in year nine, I went to Spain with them. So I've got my little cousin, she's doing Spanish now, wanting to follow in my footsteps. Just um, having a good uh, well-being and all that, and just getting stuff done, like finding a job and all that, that could, uh, like influence like my family and all that like my little young cousins so they'll like want to get a job and all that and yeah definitely just being healthy and so that way you can live long and all that be around for more people i was like a school captain i had to take responsibility to like help other kids that were down finding a job going to school finishing it they can they'll probably see that and be like yeah i'll probably finish school and see how my future will turn out to be like that I reckon some of my little cousins do. I got a job recently <laughs> and they, um, oh, my little brother just applied for a job and all my little cousins, like. <laughs> so what, now they're writing up their own little, like, CVs and stuff and yeah. job application because you, because big sis, big cousin got, got a job, eh? Yeah. 
Man, their mob were really switched on, eh? And you can just tell they've had some pretty good role models in their lives. Whether you're a parent, an auntie or an uncle, big brother or a big sister, even without your knowing, young kids around you are watching, they're looking up to you and they're learning from the things you do. So all of us have an opportunity to have a positive impact on these kids' lives. One of the biggest ways you can help shape the development of kids is to talk to them about grog. And a really good message that's come out as a result of years of research is about delaying drinking until they're at least 18. The longer kids delay drinking, the greater chance their brains have to develop to their full potential. If you want to find out more about how to talk to kids about this stuff, then check out the DrinkWise website. That's drinkwise.org.au. They've got loads of fact sheets that might help you. You can also get advice from your local clinic, health worker or Aboriginal medical service. Jam Pack is deadly! You've got it locked on Jam Packed and that's the Senator himself, Briggs, with a little help from Sieta featuring the awesome Katie Baker on the track Bigger Picture. And if you listen carefully to the lyrics in that track, you'll see that it's dedicated to Briggs' daughter, Cora. The song has a lot of positive messages around role models, and when I last had Briggsy in the studio, I had a chance to ask him who his role models were. My role models was, like, my uncles and my old man, like, just his family, you know what I mean? But, like, in terms of, um, of like, you know, I, I, I always was drawn to to sports stars as well as a kid, you know. It was always in, in rappers, like Ice Cube and Ice T. You know, that that was... That was like the blueprint that I was looking at, you know what I mean, when it come to um, the business. I seen dudes like Ice Cube and Ice T go from making making tunes to making movies and, you know, expanding and being bigger than being bigger than the genre, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and, yeah. and creating their own genre that is, you know, Ice Cube and that's the genre, you know what I mean? So nice. that was something I always admired about those fellas and sports stars like you know, Muhammad Ali was always, because he was the greatest, and he was eloquent, and that was something I really admired. I always liked charismatic, you know, people who could speak. But I guess, like, the everyday stuff was always, like, my family, man. Like, that's who I watched every day. So true. whether you can identify it when you're a kid or not, they're your first role models. That's Briggsy, who in his own right is such a legend and a role model to so many blackfellas. It's often the way for people with a big public profile. Footy players are like that too. So many kids look up to them and want to be like them. A bloke I've always admired as a footballer and just an all-round deadly fella is former Hawthorne and Port Adelaide AFL player Sean Burgoyne. In a video which you can check out on the Drinkwise website, he gave us his own take on the importance of good role models. It's definitely important to have good role models um, in the community, whether it's your parents, you know, family member, Uncle Arnie, um, local coach, um, because they're the people you want to aspire to be like. I might not know every kid, but I know kids are watching me, so I know it's important to make the correct decisions, you know, on and off the field, um, because I want to, I want those kids to, to look up to to me as I did look up to my idols. What up? I'm Aaron Pedersen. When it comes to alcohol, it's really important to be a good role model. If you drink too much or you don't take care with alcohol, others who look up to you are more likely to do the same, especially kids. So whether you're a father, brother, teacher, coach or carer, we all have a role to play in making sure we look out for one another in the community. On Gem Pack with Johnsy, that's everyone's favourite boss lady, the beautiful Jessie Malboy with her song Glow. I tell you, when it comes to role models for young Indigenous women and girls, then Jess is someone who's right up there. She's strong, she's beautiful, she's successful, and she's got a Toyota load of talent. And yet she uses all of that to help inspire others. I don't want to sit here and be like, I know everything because I don't. Um, the only thing that has kept me going is is the music, you know, to be able to continue to speak and not to speak for others, but to only share my own experience so that, you know, someone is touched by that to be like, oh my gosh, Jess had someone, you know, do that to her before. And, you know, she didn't allow it, you know, it was unacceptable. You know, Jess has taught me that I'm entitled or Jess has taught me to, to have 
hope and, you know, stick at it and work hard. Um, Jess has taught me, you know, to respect, but also, you know, put yourself demanding space where people also respect you. I, I hope to, you know, play a role in being a good human and an advocate for um, for human rights, to be honest, um, you know, especially with our country and our people and our mob. There's a lot of respect to be served. Um, and, yeah, it's it's only just kind of really the beginning, which is um, so wild. I mean, it's been such a long process. But, you know, just for me being in music, I think the only people in music that I kind of, at the time um, when I was really awake to music, I mean, Christina knew was like, uh, you know, the woman for me to look up to, Deborah Mailman, who was gracing the films. I was like, whoa, I love this. I love this woman. Um, it's just like when I think about where I am today, I think about those particular women, Kathy Freeman, you know, I got – got to watch her every single one of us and witness her you know win a race you know and and more than that but from a cultural importance as well like that is something that um plays a huge role in in who i am and the way that i come across jam-packed with great music On Jam Pack with Johnsy, that's my bro Kobe D and a song that perfectly sums up this week's show, Role Models. Kobe recently launched his own podcast series called No Role Models, which sees him yarning with all kinds of countrymen and countrywomen about who they looked up to when they were growing up and how they became who they are today. In the first episode of the podcast, Kobe yarns up big way with AFL legend Goodsy about his work in the anti-racism space and how he's empowering the next generation of Indigenous role models. Check it out. It's called No Role Models, and that's no spelt K-N-O-W. Hey, this is Justin Hodges on Jam Packed with John Z. We all have moments in life we consider to be unmissable. Those moments that are so precious they live on and on in our minds as great memories. Recently, we caught up with former Brisbane Broncos, Kangaroos and Queensland State of Origin star Justin Hodges, who told us about one of his favourite unmissable moments. The expectations and everything that you put on yourself to be to be a good father gets surreal when the birth of your firstborn is, is about to happen. I still remember it plain as day. We got up early in the morning. Um, everything probably moved pretty quickly in terms of my, my wife went to labour pretty quick. We had her mum in, in there as well, just in case if I saw blood, I would have fainted or didn't know what to expect. But, you know, just that moment of, you know, watching the head come out and, uh, you yeah, know, the nurse goes, oh, it's a boy. The moment that he came out and you got to hold him and there's that connection, you know, when you first open his eyes and you look into his eyes that, you know, this is the moment in forever where, you know, this little person is going to look up to you, this little person is going to need your guidance for the rest of their life. And just the amount of love and passion that came over you straight away for something that he had no attachment for nine months until he came out. Yeah, it was a moment in my life where I was just glad to be there, glad to hold him in my arms, give him his first kiss. No one could ever take that away from me because he's my boy and um, yeah, I got to share something very special with him. You know, he first opened his eyes and that was a moment in my life where it still touches me today. I still get a bit emotional about it when I talk about it because I can still picture it. That for me was an unmissable moment. It was a moment that uh, you know, I was very proud to be a part of. To remember the unmissable moments in your life, it's important to not let one drink turn into a few too many. You'll never miss a moment if you drink wise. Find out what that means at drinkwise.org.au. Jam with <laughs> You've got it locked on jam packed, and there's Busby Maru with their track Over Drinking Over You. It's true, eh? A lot of mob turn to the drink when a relationship breaks down, but after a while, they start to realise that the bottom of a bottle never seems to offer up any good advice. Ain't that the proper truth, eh? On the subject of good advice, Sydney Swan's AFL legend Mickey O has some great advice on the importance of culture and education when it comes to helping shape the lives of young kids. School and education is the uh, absolute key to the, the world. Kicking a footy was something I did since I was five. But footy has opened doors, working, owning a business, meeting all the people, the great people along that journey. It's allowed me to travel. It's allowed me to help my family and community. It doesn't work without having an education. Your culture gives you strength. Your culture gives you everything you need in your your life, pretty much. It teaches you so many lessons. It teaches you um, resilience. 
uh, everything. Head to the Drinkwise website and check out more of what Mickey O has to say, as well as videos from Sean Burgoyne, Deb Mailman and Aaron Pedersen, talking about the importance of good role models. You'll also find some good advice on how to talk to your kids about grog and why they should delay drinking until they're at least 18. Check it out, drinkwise.org.au. Because honestly, you don't know me from a bar of soap. You've already offered me the opportunity to sleep in the spare room and party in your party room. <laughs> I mean, come on. Brother, only invite the good-looking ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jam Pat with John Z. I'm Deb Malman, and you're listening to Jam Pat. Part of being a parent is being a good role model to your kids and other kids within the community, especially when it comes to alcohol. If you drink too much or you don't take care with alcohol, your kids are more likely to do the same when they get older. It's also really important to have a conversation with your kids and set some boundaries, making sure they delay drinking to at least 18. The longer your kids delay drinking, the less likely they are to have problems later in life. Gotta love Jam Pack! On Jam Pack with Johnsy, that's the gorgeous, the beautiful, the talented Emily Watermara with her cover of the Coloured Stone classic, Black Boy. That's a track lifted off her album, Miliakbara, and That Your Mob is an album worth downloading. We've talked about how everyone's a role model in some way, and for me, Emily falls right into that category. She's a beautiful spirit, a devoted partner, and a caring young mum. Although she's only in her early 20s, I know many young women already who see Em as a role model and a source of inspiration. Let me tell you a little bit about my week, you mob. Now, recently, I had my uncle's birthday. And you know, we got a lot of uncles, eh? A lot of uncles and a lot of dads and a lot of aunties and a lot of mums. And in Aboriginal culture, uncles are also dads, dads are also uncles, just like nephews are also sons and nieces are also daughters. I'm not going to go into too much detail around that, but you know what I'm saying, eh? That our brothers' sisters and our sisters' brothers are our brothers and our sisters as well. And of course, we have a lot of responsibility to look after them through kinship. But I had an uncle's birthday. His name's Uncle Gary. He lives in Western Sydney there, right out near the Blue Mountains. Now, he's been one of those fellas that's been a real big, strong influence in my life. He used to be able to fix anything with his hands. He was a mechanic, you know. He'd fix cars, he'd fix bikes, build houses and all that sort of stuff. He was the sort of fella that I didn't have to say much to him when I was growing up. I just watched him, you know. Like, I didn't have a lot of good role models. My old man, my biological dad, well, he wasn't there for me much. But this uncle of mine, Uncle Gary, I used to watch him and I used to listen to him and I used to want to be just like him. Because he never gave up. He showed me that there was always a way to fix something. Even if you didn't know how, you'd somehow work it out. And one day I watched him with my grandma watching over us and we're fixing a car together. I reckon I probably would have been about 12 years old. And he showed me how to fix the contact points in a distributor on an engine. He showed me how to change the spark plugs. He showed me how to tune the engine up and how to adjust the carburetor, all those sorts of things. And I just listened and I just watched and I learned from him. He gave me a screwdriver and I sort of done it myself and he watched over me and gave me little tips and pointers too. He's an old fella now and he's not as healthy as he used to be. And he's had to move out of his house and move into a place where he's not so independent, not so mobile. But thinking about him now still reminds me of that uncle, the role model that I want to be. When there's all these young fellas around us and they're looking up at us and they're looking for a role model just like my uncle Gary. I often ask myself, what sort of an uncle am I? What sort of uncle am I being? What sort of a dad or a role model am I being? Are my kids going to grow up? Are my nephews going to grow up? Are my nieces going to grow up one day? And are they going to say, hey, you know that Uncle Johnsy? He was the one reason that we believed in ourselves. He was the one thing that always kept us happy about life, who motivated us to be stronger, to think about what life could be, and to believe in ourselves. He was always there when we needed him. He always gave us strong advice, and he gave us love when we needed it. He was always happy, he was always positive, and he taught me things that I needed to know. And it got me thinking, are you going to be that sort of uncle? Are you going to be that sort of auntie? And you know what I mean by uncle and auntie, eh? When people say, oh, it's your true uncle, your real uncle, or he's only adopted. Don't go playing those sorts of games. In Aboriginal way, if you call him uncle, he's uncle. If she's mum, she's mum. If he's dad, he's dad. And that's how it works. They're your family. But ask yourself the question, are you going to be that uncle like Uncle Gary was for me? Are you going to be that auntie like so many of our aunties who are out there, who are being great aunties and great mums for others? And the sad thing is we all know what it looks like to have that uncle or that auntie that always fails, that always drinks, that always gets into trouble, that always makes promises and never keeps them. 
Or are you going to be that role model that our young fellas, our young women, one day get to our age and say, hey, you know what? I love that Uncle Johnsy. He was there for me. Maybe you're that uncle now. Maybe you're that auntie now. Maybe you're that big brother, that big sister right now. But it's something to look forward to, to be that person for those young kids, because now more than ever, we need them and they need us. You're listening to Jam Pack with John Z and that's Nookie with his incredible track from earlier this year called Run Dingo. Nookie's a proud yawn fella from the New South Wales South Coast and another bloke who wants to lead by example and be a role model, not just to his own kids but other young kids as well. To coincide with the release of Run Dingo, Nookie recently launched a new platform dedicated to inspiring our kids to succeed by connecting them with First Nations role models. It's called We Are Warriors. I wanted to create something where, you know, you can hear from your role models and hear from people you look up to 24-7 because, you know, we know the the struggles and the hardships, they don't, they don't stop. So I wanted to make something that you could go to whenever you wanted. Like, I'm trying to give people tools and create pathways and it's all good to go to a community for a day and make a song, but once you get out of there, like, the kids got a song, but... What else do they have? You know what I mean? Like we, I want to build something that you get the tools and you can do it when we leave. So, you know, that's part of the reason why we're online and working on programs to make it an ongoing thing. And it, it is that. It's like, look, you need to be able to see it to be like the only reason I got into rap was because my big cousin was doing it. And there's things now even growing like being a radio host. So I, I didn't know that was an option. So it's like those sort of things, even like Big Briggsy writing Kids' books now is a best-selling author. It was like, yeah, I want to write a book now because Briggs, Briggs wrote a book. I want to write a book because it's showing you different ways that you can, you know, succeed and do things. Like, so yeah, we're trying to put that on, you know, on a big scale by, um, you know, working with these major brands and whatnot. It's like, yeah, really, just trying to elevate everyone and just just add, you know, I'm just trying to do my bit. And if you ever get a chance to see Nookie live, I tell you, fellas, you just got to do it. You might walk out two kilograms lighter than when you walked in because all of that sweating you'll be doing from the dancing, that's right, but you'll also be walking out with no regrets. And that's what life's all about, eh? Having no regrets. And that comes back around to what I've been talking about this week. Being a good role model to others, staying strong and making good choices, especially when it comes to things like grog, so you'll have no regrets later in life. Big thanks to all the crew from Centralian Senior College for coming on the show and to everyone who helped out on this week's show as well. I hope it's given you some stuff to think about. And if you need inspiration on how to be a good role model or how to talk to your kids about grog, then head to the Drinkwise website. That's drinkwise.org.au. And finally, a big thanks to you, Mob, for listening. And if you want to check out any past shows, just head to my website, jampacked.com.au, and click the Listen button. And if there's a special track you want to hear or you want to shout out, send me a request, hit me up on Facebook, slide into my DMs on Insta, or send me an email to yo at jampacked.com.au. And I'll be back same time, same channel next week. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected. Kalabaya! Yo, catch around.